Good day. Our topic today is about process-oriented pedagogy. Now, before anything else, I would like to present my objectives. I mean, the overall objective of this report. Identify what process-oriented pedagogy means. Distinguish pedagogical approaches useful for future career path. And third, answer reflective questions about process-oriented pedagogy approaches. Now, process-oriented talks about uh, talks a lot about the procedure and steps done by individuals in creating or producing a certain thing, be it an idea, product, philosophy, or any tangible and intangible outcome of a process made. For example, an ethyl alcohol. How is alcohol created? What do the creators have to comply with, prepare, and study in order to develop a solvent that would prevent people from harmful germs? Basically, process-oriented equalizes the formula prior to the outcome. Now, pedagogy is a method and practice of teaching. This answers the questions like, how do I discipline my students without hurting them in any way? How will I improve students' engagement in my class? And the likes. It simply is the approach you would integrate in your class in order to achieve your teaching and effort. And with this combined, process-oriented pedagogy denotes an approach in teaching that focuses on the process of the outcome. And there are five pedagogical approaches exist. Constructivist, collaborative, integrative, reflective, and inquiry-based. And all of these are process-oriented pedagogies. Now, these pedagogies will be discussed separately with my partner, Ms. De La Cruz. Constructivist, collaborative, and reflective pedagogies are mine, while the former will tackle integrative and inquiry-based, as well as the overall importance of the pedagogies. First is constructivist approach. It is based on the central notion that learners construct their own understanding of the world around them based on experience as they live and grow. They select and transform information from past and current knowledge and experience into new personal knowledge and understanding. It allows learners to be active in the process of constructing meaning and knowledge rather than passively receiving information. And it fosters critical thinking and provides learners with a learning environment that helps them make connections with their learnings. Since constructivist approach is the process of learning, teachers have huge role like to influence or create motivating conditions for students, take responsibility for creating problem situations, foster acquisition and retrieval of prior knowledge, create the process of learning, not the product of learning. Let's now move to collaborative approach. This is an educational approach to teaching and learning that involves groups of learners working together to solve a problem or complete a task or create a product. In RM number 11, section 2015, in order to achieve a classroom where collaborative learning approach works, teachers must successfully understand learners' preferred learning styles and view of learning. Classroom teachers shall or may use the following strategies properly. First is online collaborative learning, jigsaw method, think, pair, share, integrative process approach, and peer teaching. Now, to reflective pedagogy. This is a teaching learning approach that means looking at what the teachers and learners do in the classroom, thinking about why they do it, and analyzing if it works. This is a process of self evaluation, come self observation. Now, Gibbs' reflective cycle best illustrates this pedagogy. It offers a framework for examining experiences and giving its and a, given its cyclic nature, it lends itself particularly well to repeated experiences, allowing teachers to learn and plan from things that either went well or didn't go well. And this covers six stages. Description of the experience, feelings and thoughts about the experience, evaluation of the experience, both good and bad, analysis to make sense of the situation, Conclusion about what you learned and what you could have done differently. Sixth is action plan for how you would deal with similar situations in the future or general changes you might find appropriate. 
Hence, suggested strategies for this to be realized is to self-evaluate and reflect, which can be assessed through diary presentations, paper writing reports, or any journals and any other medium that allows you, a, whether you're a student or a teacher, to record your experience. Thank you, everyone, and that's all for my part. And I would appreciate if you would answer the questions that is flushed in your screens right now.